Okay, so let's take a look at the lip lights I'm doing for the um, one third scale punk version of the Zyde of the Jew um, with the moving noses and there's actually 10 servos, there's going to be 9 in the head and number 10 is going to be the neck servo in the base to turn the head. So there's actually 10 servos in uh, this particular build. Um, but the lip lights, I've been uh, struggling for years to get something that I'm actually happy with as far as appearance. Um, there's a number of different ways of doing it with different um, LEDs and SMDs and stuff like that. Um, but just getting that visual effect of it looking great in person and on camera uh, is the tricky bit. Because um, at the moment I'm using the little micro MSDs, the little 4002s for the um, 1 6 scales. I mean, these things are the size of a pinhead and they're super bright, uh, so they work fantastic. But on camera, they it's just a blur, it's so small and so bright. The camera can't pick it up uh, individually when you've got a whole row. Uh, in person, you can actually see every single light light up, which is really impressive. Um, and one of the key points of the talking J5s. Uh, in the 1-6 scales is the lip lights. Um, for this scale, uh, my first build, I used the, I think these are the 12-10s. Uh, I could be wrong, but these are the bigger size ones. Uh, these worked a fantastic uh, for the front. I was able to get uh, all 14 um, in this scale. Um, I can also get the 14 on the front with these little ones for the 1-6 scale as well, but um, I've opted for the 10 just to make life a little bit easier. But these little guys, um, for anybody else trying to do it, 10, uh, fitting 10 is a lot easier than trying to fit 14 on the front. But the underside lights have always been the challenge because of the color green. Um, I've watched all Terry's um, videos way back in the day uh, from Inbuilt Inc when he was working his lip lights and I think green was one of his uh, things that gave him trouble um, they're all each colors kind of different in the sort of technical specs and stuff like that I don't want to get into that sort of thing um, but yeah they draw sort of different currents and stuff like that so you're trying to get them all to work on one little tiny thing which I'm trying to do is the bit of that's the issue um, I can I've done many many different sets of lip lights in the past and to get around it I just use uh, one of these for the front and another one for the underside so essentially just use two um, to make the lip lights work but I want to do it all in one just as one little tiny compact unit um, so uh, I've designed this to do the three millimeter LEDs because um, I think that's what most people are doing I don't usually use LEDs um, I use the SMDs, uh, I just find them a lot better. Um, so this is the first time I'm really working with 3mm LEDs uh, or something. The scale for J5, um, but I've done 10 at the front. I've done two rows of five. Um, I know there's three rows uh, in the original one, um, but three millimeters just wasn't gonna fit. Um, so there's a row of red, five, and a row of green five and I've actually offset the green a little bit so visually it's gonna look like um, that sort of it's drawn across um, I've also blacked out the areas that I don't want reflective um, but what I've done and I'm not happy with these LEDs so I've kind of made my own um, these are the ones I got locally in my area um, so I've got the light kind of dimmed down here so we can get a little looks at them. But I'm not happy with the brightness of the look of them. So that's the green. Um, a lot of light shooting downwards. It's fairly bright. That's the green. That is the orange, which is even brighter. And shoots a lot of light downwards. So this is going to reflect up. Um, on the base and bounce back up sort of thing. Now the red 
is very, very dull. So that's the red. Uh, why it's like that, I don't know. I think it's just the brand, but that's what I can get locally. So that's um, a bit of an issue. Um, I've tried others, they're all the same in that color. Uh, so I thought I'll get some red clear ones, which are dramatically brighter. But way too bright, <laughs> way too bright. Uh, so no, that was not an option. Um, plus they are clear, so I didn't want that. So I thought I'd dip them in red clear paint. See how that goes. Um, still not an option. So that was out. Um, so I thought um, I could go back to the SMDs and just redo it again. I thought, no, I want to stick to it. I want to get this look I've been trying to get, um, which is exactly... Uh, if we refer back to the original Johnny Five lip lights, uh, they're not coloured LEDs or lights. They're actually clear bulbs. Uh, back then they had bulbs. And there's uh, coloured cover caps over the bulbs. So that's what I did. Um, a little time consuming, but <laughs> I think this is going to uh, work out a lot better than trying to get these. Because um, the other thing, and this is a good demo, of the five millimeter LEDs in all the colors. So if I'll just keep playing this. You can see how bright they are. So that's them all working, um, except that's an, a yellow, so there would be an orange, but green, uh, orange, and red. But you can see their different brightnesses even on this. And the underside is very bright, which I don't really want. Um, so yeah, even if I had the right LEDs from different brands, uh, probably I'm not going to get the effect that I want. Um, especially as these these front lights are fine. They're going to bright up just as these... Um, they look great on the front, but as soon as you turn them, that side light is completely different. And that's what we're going to be seeing here, is the side. So I want that uniformed look all the way around. Uh, I'm not going to get it out of the LEDs, so uh, I have to make my own. So what I did was I got, um, and I can actually use all of the same colors, so it's not going to interfere with any um, resistors or anything like that. So if I get all white uh, 0402s, I print out little tiny clear domes that are three millimeters, and I insert that into the dome, glue it in place, that will give me a clear LED um, that's not as bright as this clear uh, bought off the shelf. Um, and then what I do is dip it into some clear um, orange, in this case, uh, then in green and then red. Uh, and this is what I came up with. So these are the ones I've made. And these fit. So we just pick one up. So that is the little cover. So that just slots right in the, in the hole. And that'll look like that on the underside. And actually we'll grab another one the front that slots in and pegs out the front um, you can also glue it wherever you want if you want a little bit more flush but that's going to give you the exact same look on this side and the reason I can do that is because these little tiny um, SMDs the actual light, I'm sorry, I'm not even focus on it. The actual LED is facing sideways. It's not facing um, the top. So by having it on the side, it gives me that bright light on the side, which works out perfect. Um, the other thing is all of the lights uh, work off the same current and they light up exactly the same. 
So got this. Yeah, just trying to get that there, and there we go. So that's the three millimeter LEDs I made up. Um, on camera, it's actually looking a little bluer. And I'm not sure why, but it is green. Um, I think, yeah, uh, Terry mentioned something about the blue and green thing on camera as well. So, yeah, it looks a bit blue on camera, but I assure you it is green. So they're all lighting up. Um, fantastic, actually. Uh, so that's the side view. And that's the top view. So when they are in, uh, let's see if we do it this way, that'll look good. It'll actually look like old little light bulbs. And on the front for the, yeah, so that'll work out. So a little bit more work, um, but I don't have to mess around with trying to modify this board and upgrade these resistors and stuff like that. Um, I can just do it this way and it works out a lot better because I'm getting the colors I want, uh, the brightness I want and the effect I want. So that is how I'm going to do the LEDs um, or SMDs looks. Well, the lip lights on this one, uh, it's going to look good. Um, it's coming well, it's actually coming well very nicely um, the nose is done I'm just working on the pop-out eye which is really gonna be fun um, printed out that's the shaft for the eye so and it's all going to depend on how far the travel is on this eye so it'll pop out uh, there'll be all wires and stuff inside the actual resin casing here um, this is not going to light up only the face Actually, only the lens will light up, so there will be a little tiny um, hole there with the LED. This will be blacked out. A cover plate will go over that and diffuse the rest of the light, and the cover goes over the top like that. Uh, this is all printed in one piece, so I do have the lens there in the Monocure Crystal Clear. And only that portion there will light up red uh, the back will not uh, so that'll be pretty cool yeah um, this build is coming along uh, better than I thought uh, it might take a bit of time because I'm going to have to order in some <laughs> white uh, SMDs now but that's basically how I'm going to do the lip lights on it